Danny, how's it going? How you doing, Mike? Very nice to see you again. Uh, one of the reasons I brought you back into the office, uh, just not uh, to polish up and readjust your mouth guard, but one of the things that really bugs me um, about this is this: there's not enough players out there that are really knowledgeable about protecting themselves and on and on, on, on the field, especially because. As I'm noticing, the concussion rates have gone up. I believe it was 21% for this past year, and I believe it was even 30% the year prior. Mm -hmm. And to most players that I've interviewed, I've, I've done some uh, mouth guards for stay-at-home moms. Mm -hmm. I've done some for just in gym enthusiasts, the runners, um, power lifters, kickboxers, etc. But one of the things that bugs me in the NFL is that the players don't understand the importance of it. And if you don't understand the importance of it, you're not going to wear it. Mm -hmm. uh, for most of the players that I've made it for, they're more interested in the way they look. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very customized look. And on my side, you know, I'm I'm looking at it as, as protection because mm -hmm. if you're not protected, you're not going to play. Mm -hmm. And if you're not protected, you know, it makes me worried about some of the things that besides concussions that can go on, mm -hmm. such as tooth fracture. Uh, ruptured discs, headaches, migraines, like Percy Harvin's, for example. Mm -hmm. So, can you elaborate on that? Uh, you know, what made you decide to say, "Hey, you know, I'm going to take a stand. I know it's not mandatory. But I realize it's important. I'm going to wear a mouthpiece." Well, uh, I, mean, I think you mentioned it, Dr. Wright. You know what I mean? Just, just taking that initiative and and knowing that that mouthpiece and the mouthpiece that you produced, the right guard, uh, it, it helped me protect myself against a lot of the things that you mentioned, especially concussions with the increased awareness that we've gotten, you know, from the NFL about, you know, the danger of concussions, it's become adamant and of the utmost important that you protect yourself from it. And wearing your mouth guard does, in my opinion, does so for me. So I think just taking that initiative and, and protecting my playing status and my playing future in that manner, you know what I mean, uh, and for, for right now and the foreseeable future would be the main reason. Now, that long initial appointment, which was an hour to hour and a half, mm -hmm. of diagnosing, you know, mm -hmm. that's one of the things that I pride myself on as a prosthodontist, a specialized specialist in the area of reconstruction and draw. I use those same principles in fabricating my mouth guard. Mm -hmm. uh, so that in that hour, hour and a half, we did uh, Doppler sounding. I, I can't give away all of my diagnostic techniques, but you know, we, we put you on that 3D simulation. We hooked the, the fancy device up to you and you mm -hmm. thought, whoa, what am I getting myself into? Uh, I guess now you can appreciate how we were able to align your jaw. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of other mouth guards out there on the market just pride themselves on that, this, perfume, this performance mouth guard, per se. Mm -hmm. Now, when you fabricate a mouth guard in the correct jaw position, those other things fall in play increase intake and oxygen because your jaw is correctly positioned. We're not promoting mouth breathing, we're promoting nose breathing, mm -hmm. which means your lung capacity in a medical standpoint is increased 20 okay. to 25 percent. Uh, by having the jaw properly aligned, the whole entire musculoskeletal system is balanced, which means you're going to have increased range of motion. Uh, it's going to have balance and agility. Did you notice any of these things on the field? Yes, I would say so. You know what I mean? Uh, from as you know, I was one of those players who, prior to wearing your mouthpiece, didn't necessarily you know think about it or take into to I guess consideration what uh what you what, what you could lose by not wearing the proper mouthpiece. But since I did, you know, come in here and we went through the, the initial phase and initial appointment, and you know we were aligned the jaw with the mouthpiece and fitted it for the proper fit, I would definitely say I um I realized the uh, increase in like you said oxygen and breathing intake. Um, increasing confidence on the football field just because I felt like I was safer um, wearing a mouthpiece. So I would definitely say in, in the majority of those areas that you mentioned that I, I was cognitive that those things were taking place while I was playing. Right. It makes me that much happier and, and, and feeling like you're safe when you're performing like you do every mm -hmm. Sunday. Very talented player and, and best and foremost is the fact that I know you're protected. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I wanted to say was what would you say right now to your, your colleagues out there that just view it as a piece of plastic? Mm -hmm. I think the first thing is, like you said, man, the concussions concussions in the NFL is something that is increasing. It's something that we're becoming more aware of. And if you can do it, if you can wear the proper mouthpiece in order to protect yourself from that, that's one less injury that you have to you know worry about or try to worry about from, uh, from, from having. You know what I mean? Uh, the right guard does that for you. Um, I would say that a mouthpiece and, and having the correct mouthpiece, as you mentioned, um, 
you know, it protects you from, from, or it helps you breathe, it helps you play faster, it helps you have more balance because your entire neuromuscular system is intact. So um, I would just say that it's something that everybody should try and not just think that they can get, get away with any one of the middle mouthpiece because, you know, in today's game, you know, guys are bigger, stronger, and faster, and they're hitting harder. So so this is an injury or these are, these are serious matters in today's NFL. So I would definitely tell them to... Um, to just look into finding the proper mouthpiece, and, and I think, in my opinion, that's the right guard. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you wearing the right guard, and uh, foremost, whether it's my guard or anyone else's guard, please go out there and promote your fellow colleagues to uh, protect themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, you, you know, you guys are role models. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's very important that we get to the youth. You know, if you wouldn't mind, I do a lot of community activities. We can go out to the local. Um, Little League Pee Wee games and promote the mouth guard and, and just protection because if they wear it at an early stage, when they get to the pros like yourself, it'll become second nature. Absolutely. I appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.